hello friends now we are going to display student registration detail on librarian side so first of all we are going to create one new page here right click add add new item web form we are going to take name display student info and we are going to select master page here we are going to take librarian librarian master page and ok so here we are getting this content placeholder now inside that we are going to take repeater repeater we are going to take id and then we are going to take runnet server yeah inside this we need to take three template one is header template then we need to take item template and then in last we need footer template okay now here we are going to take table and then this less table we are going to complete inside footer template yeah now here we are going to take tr and then we are going to take th we are going to display first name last name enrollment number username email and image and contact oh yeah so we need to display everything <laughs> let's see whatever first of all image this is for heading so you can take any name here here i am going to take first name so i can take like this also first name because this is not necessary that you take same name whatever you write here because this is for heading so you can use any name first name then i am going to take last name then enrollment number then username we are not going to display password so now email then contact and then status now here we are going to take tr then td we need one two three four five six seven eight tds so just copy Yes. Yeah. Now here we are going to take IMG SRC. Right. Hundred and three hundred. And yeah. Uh, in last uh, video I did one mister. I show you. So please change in your code also. In this student registration. In your code you can see by mistake I put here dot but you need to change in place of dot you need to use your slash otherwise you cannot see your image this path was incorrect that's why you need to add your slash and then register so we can display it this was my mistake please solve it okay. now here I am going to set path less than percentage as well and here we need to give same name whatever we use here like student underscore img student underscore img so i am going to take that and here we need to take dot dot slash because right now we are on library side and our image is on student side that's why now here we are going to take first name We are going to just copy paste. Last name, then enrollment number, then username, then we need your email. 
then we need here contact and here we are going to date about okay so now we are going to run this page this plus plant info set a startup page and here we are going to take table class table and one more table order okay now we need to write here code so here using system dot data then we need using system dot data dot sql client and here SQL connection C1 is equal to new SQL connection and now we need to set path of database right click property or you can copy from any other page also paste now here we are going to set so here we are going to write data directory if c1 dot state is equal is equal to connection state dot open then connection close oh, what happened? and now connection open yeah now yes you will command cmd command text and here we are going to write select star from student underscore registration now cmd dot execute non query then data table new data table sql data adapter then r1 dot data source is our repeater name and r1 dot data byte yeah so now we are going to run this and then we are going to check we got proper output or not and then after we are going to add two buttons for change status means if librarian wants to block then librarian can that's why but we need to wait until it loads So you can see we got here image first name last name enrollment number username email contact status and you can see here we are getting this type of gray color means uh, now you want to change your white color then because some people don't like this color then how you can change i am going to show you you need to take your own class division class here you need to take container fluid container fluid here you need to take style then you need to take background color here we are going to take white and then you need to give padding 20 pixels yeah so now i am going to show you now here we are getting white color you can see now it looks good so if you don't like gray color then you can use this way so here we are getting white color okay now here we are going to add to link means one kind of button i'm going to stop this active and deactivate A H R E F active A 
dnt okay so we are going to take uh, create two page student underscore active dot asps and student underscore dative dot asps and we are going to pass id from here so let's question mark id is equal to less than percentage as well id and the same code i am going to copy and paste here okay so we need to create two pages i am going to create two pages and in these two pages we don't need master page student score active student score active we don't need master page and one more page student underscore d okay so we have these two page first of all we are going to write coding inside this student underscore active view code here we are going to take using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client here sql connection we are going to copy this so we don't need to write copy paste copy and we are going to paste here and we pass id from another page from our last page here from here you can see we passed id from here so we need to get this id here so to get this id we are going to declare here our variable id here id is equal to request dot query string then id dot to string and here we are going to convert so convert dot to int 32 and here we are going to do update query update student registration set approved is equal to this is active page so we are going to set here yes and then response to redirect display underscore student underscore info dot sps now i am going to show you what happened actually Okay, so here you can see status is equal to no. In active, when you move mouse in taskbar, you can see I got ID is equal to two. Here I can get ID is equal to three. So when I click on this, it forward on student active page, update query will fire, and again you are getting bad. So here we can get status is equal to yes, you can see. Oh yeah, I forget one thing. Where ID is equal to ID. Yeah. So now we need to set the same code on student D active, then we can check again here using using system dot data then using system dot data dot SQL client and now here we need to copy this code copy the same code and just we need to paste here and here we need to set no but don't forget to pass this id id is the most important here now i'm going to run again and we are going to check if you forget to pass id then your old record status should be same means if you are going to press yes at one place the old record will be yes that's why so don't forget to pass id 
yeah now here i am going to do dat you can see we do it here no only here not here i am going to add to your drain here dat you here add to you now in another window here student and student login here you can see status is equal to yes so amit amit and you can see i can login because status is equal to yes again i am on this page and i am going to deactivate this so now if i am going to login i should get error you can see we do it here you entered in your username or password because this status is no means this user cannot login so this way you can perform uh status changes and also you can do how you can display the student information on library inside in net studio i am going to show you first of all in net studio we are going to clear this part these these whatever we don't require we are going to remove this from here also we are going to remove these components tables means we are going to set our menu here and then after we are going to start our new task on this so i hope you like my video so please like my video and share it thank you so much for watching my video